We are going to talk about laser grips on snubbies today. Why I like them, uh, what you should look for, how I'm using them. So here we go. I've got my LCR 22 here. Um, and uh, I've got a few modifications on this gun. Well, I've got really two modifications on this gun. I have painted the front sight ramp orange and I've put the Hogue green laser grip on there. It's really what I do to all of the snubbies that I use. Um, I, I like having a bright front sight and really I only, I only bother with the front sight because I can't put an optic on here. If I could put a red dot on here, right, I wouldn't do it here, but if I could put a red dot right there to replace the front sight, I don't know that I would want a laser grip in addition to that. But because we can't have a dot optic on these little snubbies, um, we want to keep them small and the industry doesn't support them yet. Uh, well, the, the laser grips work well. I'm not going to talk about the laser adapters that fit in this area or along the trigger guard, ones that have a switch to activate because they're garbage, guys. Unless you can activate it by squeezing your grip, I'm just not interested in it. If you have to press a button to use it, then a lot of the reasons, a lot of the, the reasons why the shine is kind of out the window. They don't, it doesn't work with a push button, um, like a side of frame kind of button to activate that laser. So, um, got the LCR 22 though, uh, with these, with these mods and, and I want that laser on there. Uh, number one, because, well, irons are, are kind of weak sauce in the dark. Um, I'm not talking about in pitch black because if it's too dark to ID your target, you shouldn't be shooting anyway. But I found a lot of just low light environments, including at the range, at the indoor range, uh, where the light is just not good enough. Where I'm standing, I'm shooting at a, at a target that has light on it, but I'm standing in a darker corner. And even that bright orange sight, uh, it doesn't do it enough for me. Um, it doesn't draw my eye rapidly enough to the front sight ramp on the presentation for me to get the same speed as I can in, in you know, full daylight. Um, well, the laser grip helps with that a lot, especially the way that I have this set up where when I smash the grip on the draw, it's basically turning that laser on as I, as I marry the hands together uh, and drive the gun out. Uh, about half the time that I'm on the range, and this is, I'm talking about the outdoor range. About half the time that I'm outdoor shooting with the Colorado sun blasting, just blowing out everything. It's hard, it's hard to even shoot video out there for you guys because uh, it's so bright. Half the time that I'm drawing, I actually catch the green laser on the target before I have perfect sight alignment. Um... And that's huge. That should tell you everything that you need to know right there, right? In, in the worst environment for it, where that laser is uh, blown out by uh, other lighting the most, I'm still able to catch this sighting system faster than this sighting system much of the time. So there's a speed component there to it. Um, you know, having, ha having the ability to be entirely target focused is also a, a big capability. Again, one that kind of goes out the window if you're comparing this to guns that have red dot sights because, you know, red dot is target focused. Seeing the dot on a bad guy, that's, that's fast. Um, everyone can see it. That's kind of a thing uh, that I like, right? Um, maybe, uh, well, maybe it is a, a deterrent, right? This, this whole, the whole reason I carry a gun is a deterrent to bad guys. So if a um, bad guy sees a gun and goes away and I don't have to fire a shot, that's a victory. If a bad guy sees a gun and then sees a laser and the green dot on them is what convinces them to go away before me shooting, that's a win too. Fine. Uh, not the primary reason that I carry, but it's just one of those things in the, in the plus side of this, the pros side. Uh, another reason is... I like the ability to shoot these little snubbies from a retention position 
and from kind of from wonky positions, um, not just in a grappling context, right? I mean, if I if I put this gun in thumb pectoral all day long, I can make hits with an entangled opponent, an entangled attacker. Um, but I can take that same thumb pectoral, uh, and with a green laser, I can steer that right on to where I'm actually want it to put that round. Um, is there a whole lot of need for that skill and from shooting from retention to something that isn't on you? No. Could there be a need for that? Sure, there is, right? Um, the other thing is, is housework or rooms work or car work. Uh, where I'm not necessarily wanting to extend a pistol out because I don't have the room to do so. Maybe I'd have to extend that pistol beyond a barrier to get on the sights here. Um, well, with this gun with a visible laser grip on it, I don't need to. I can I can get all the sighting that I need uh, right here and very quickly put that, put that shot where I want it to be. What I've found with the Hogue laser grips is that uh, from the factory, they're not perfect. So... Um, they're a little too bulky for my hand, and I, I modify them so that they work for me. Not necessarily true for all shooters, maybe not even true for most shooters, but for me, what I need to do is I take a, a belt grinder, a one-inch belt grinder, I use that to round the butt of the grip, take the finger groove off, and then, you know, I, I build up a little bit of rubber here. In this case, this is shoe goo. Um, you guys worried about that sticking, I'll tell you that I've had multiple guns that I've done this exact treatment to a laser grip to. I have just recently broken one of these little knobbies off, um, and that was after you know more than 10K through that gun, shooting it like that. So that's, that's draw work, that's everyday carry. Uh, that Shugu sticks to that rubber real well. Um, and I do that because with my grip, if you uh, flip this around here, with my grip, uh, there is an open space right here when I get my pinky all the way on that grip, which I, I want. Um, what that means is that it's hard for me to deliberately activate the laser with this finger, this middle finger, the one that I want to use. And it's easy for me to accidentally activate the laser with this. Um, so the easiest solution to me is just build that up. It actually makes it makes all of the accidental um, light discharges go away, and it makes this really easy for me to just turn on and off with this finger. Um, something that maybe you guys can play around with if you need it. I'm the only shooter that I've come across running these that actually needs that little dongle there, so... Um, could I get by without it? Sure. Could I train around it and adopt a lower grip on the gun? I could, especially with the 22 that I that I like, or or you guys running the 327s that with the 32 long loads that are no recoil at all. Sure, you can. Um, but I do like getting a very high grip on that gun, uh, which is fine, right? And that that works well for for this laser grip setup. When it comes to zeroing these laser grips, uh, here's my advice to everyone is zero these grips at the longest distance that you can hold a good group with this gun. Um, now I'll tell you how I specifically zero this, which is maybe a little bit of a departure for that uh, and is kind of silly and unrealistic for a whole lot of shooters. What I do is I put a B8 target at 25 yards, and I try and get the point of impact um, for the gun to be one inch high and half an inch left of where the dot is, because I know that this muzzle is one inch higher than the laser and half an inch to the left of the laser. Now, by doing that, all I'm really accomplishing is getting the same offset from contact distance all the way out to, theoretically, to um, when that bullet starts to drop. So, you know, 50 yards or so, something like that. And um, for a gun like this, I think maintaining that offset 
is worthwhile. Uh, for, for other guns that have maybe more specific range capability, like a band that you are more worried about, like ARs, I don't mind when people zero point of aim, point of impact. Um, but for this, uh, well, there's only about an inch offset and um, I'm, I'm much more concerned about being um, close enough at any distance than I am being, you know, more precise than an inch at some specific distance. So um, what I mean to say is be careful. A lot of you guys will zero your laser at something like five yards because that is the furthest that you can zero it. Um, and just know that if, if your point of aim, point of impact is exactly on at five yards, then at 20 yards, that laser and that point of impact have diverged significantly, which means that uh, the only functional use of your laser is five yards and in. So uh, the, the real easy way is try and get, you know, try and get a good group at 25 yards and you know that inside of 25 yards, you're gonna be fine. Um, if you wanna go the extra mile, then, you know, do the offset like I do, do it as best as you can. Also realize, guys, there's a little bit of shift in these grips because they're they're held on by a single screw and pressure fit to the grip. So this isn't like a red dot sight where it's mounted to the frame and, and it will hold, you know, incredibly precise groups. But I'll tell you this, this will do minute of eye box inside of, you know, any distance that you would use this gun. Um, I, I would be able to put most rounds inside of a note card at 25 yards with the laser, uh, as long as I'm doing my job. So um, when I, you know, when I flex these grips, yes, that, that point of impact will change. Not enough for me to worry about for what this gun is doing in the distances it's doing it in. Uh, there it is, guys. If you have more questions on uh, this gun, the way it's set up, more questions just in general for me, let me know in the comments. If you like this content and you want to keep it around, you want to keep this channel growing, subscribe and hit the button notification and like the damn video. The thumbs up really, right? It helps. Um, also, go on to Patreon. There's a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Keep training. Stay safe.